I'm Susan Pollock from Hungary. My name is Tommy Reichenthal. I was born in Slovakia. I'm, I'm a, a Holocaust, Holocaust survivor. survivor. I was nine years old when I arrived to Belgium Belsen. What I saw, uh, it's uh, uh, difficult to describe. I, I played among uh, corpses. I've been to Auschwitz. They took me to Auschwitz. They took me to a labor camp. It's also something special when two Holocaust survivors meet. Yes. That's like we belong to a club. That's so, true. Because That's what true. we went through is something that people can't even imagine. No. And no. I feel when I meet you, like I met you years ago, yes. you're part of the family. Very true. There's not many left of us. No, no, no. You it's, know? It's slowly. And it brings people it, a trust. Yeah. There is that trust that exists between, between the survivors. We had practically no shoes, and we marched across frozen fields. I, for example, didn't talk about it for 55 years. To no. nobody. No. I lost my wife in 2003 to cancer, and she didn't know anything about me. I never told her. You didn't? And I was 43 years married to her, but I never told her what I went through. She knew I was a Holocaust survivor, but... Uh, but what it meant and what I know, I myself didn't speak that much to my children. My husband was a Holocaust survivor. Yeah. I suppose, you know, the horror, and of the, the, uh, the tragedy that befell us, having lost family and us, I mean, incredible suffering we went through. Um, you wanted to kind of to bury it. Yeah, forget about it, yeah. Well, forget you can't forget, ever. No. But uh, not to give it too much space. It's the world outside that needs to know what, what took place. I lost 35 members of my family. I felt that I have to speak uh, oh, yes, because I'm... I think I owe it to the victims that their memory is not forgotten.